Do you cook much yourself? I love to cook. Ah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. And what kind, like, type of cuisine do you like to cook with? Um, I love a challenge, so I like to try new things. Um, and recently, I got into cheese making, vegan Ooh, cheese making. Cool. So I, I make um, cheese from like almond nuts and cashew nuts. So I work at the fabulous Blue Ginger. Boop, boop, yep. boop, boop, boop. We are massive so fans good. of Blue Ginger. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a pretty special place. Mm. Yeah, special people too, right? I know, and not in a weird way. Well, like, that, that's why you—that's how you know it's a good place. Like special people, you know, the food's good, the energy's good. Yeah, it's you, always packed there too. Like especially yeah. when I want to get food. When I'm working <laughs> at the pub, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to wait that long because by the time I want to order, I'm too hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's so good. Yeah, I think it's like my Friday, um, Friday special like meal. I wouldn't call it a cheat meal because I eat no. anything all the time yeah. but like it's but it's oof, like it's, it's super fresh food and and you just you know you're gonna get you know something quality like a real good feed are you a big fan of asian style food i'd like to think so i've not been to asia but i do enjoy the food <laughs> <laughs> do you cook much yourself i love to cook ah, yeah awesome yeah and what kind like type of cuisine do you like to cook with? Um, I love a challenge, so I like to try new things. Um, and recently, I got into cheese making, vegan Ooh, cheese making. Cool. So I, I make um, cheese from like almond nuts and cashew nuts. So, yeah. Are you a fan of nutritional yeast? I like nutritional. You do? I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say you know the flavor is amazing, but it's. It's good for you, so I eat it. Oh, cool. Do you like <laughs> nutritional yeast? Um, I went through a phase when I was like vegan and stuff like that yeah. and trying to eat healthier. I ate it all the time. Yeah. But then I started having recipes, like reading recipes and trying them out where they would just pretty much use it like it's a seasoning, like 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 chicken salt. And then I nah. kind of just got over it. Yeah. I was like, nah. Nah. Can't actually remember the last time I ate it. So. Yeah, just it literally tastes like yeast. It's like this. Yeah, like, it's, it's <laughs> not, not a particularly yeah. favorable flavor. Have you ever been tried out vegan eating? I did veganism for like four years. What, what brought you back? A bacon toasty. <laughs> Was that when you were drunk? Because I know, it like, a, been, it I know a lot of people that were like vegan, and then they were like, "Oh, I just couldn't do it because every time I got drunk, I just kept eating like burgers and stuff." Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah nice. possibly. Because yeah. you know you're depleted and you need, you, you yeah, know, like you, you just don't want to make in front a, of you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah and yeah. How, how? I mean, it might be a bit more common now, but I mean, like how um, accessible is like a dirty, greasy vegan burger? At the end of your drinking night, yeah. like yeah, I don't think it's, it's very, it's not very accessible. No, it especially might be a bit more here. now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. back home in the UK, like there's a a real vegan renaissance. Like y yeah. you can go yeah, and get yeah. like a full takeaway that's vegan, but not, mm. in, not in town. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool if there was though. Yeah, I think yeah. Well, like the renaissance is a great word to use because mm -hmm. I think there's a there is a massive trade. Well, when I went to go try be vegan and stuff, it was like at least four maybe five years ago and even then it was like these recipes where you use like nutritional yeast and everything yep. and you'd use chickpeas and everything yep. you know now there's a bit more diversity yeah and um i wouldn't even it might be a big thing to say like acceptance because i know people are still like eh, 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 eat a lamb chop and then yep. some vegans are really hearty and are like yeah, yeah. square <laughs> up bro yeah yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but... I think, like, the, like, because I was vegan for a little bit, too. Like, I think we've all gone through that phase. Um, but, like, <laughs> Just when the phase. I... Yeah, it's a phase, mom. No, I'd like to say, like, I want to kind of carry it on throughout my life, because I know it's good. Yeah. But, like, um, when I started being vegan, I was, like, definitely a bit more conscious about, like, how to make things taste better and, like, mm. how to cook a little bit yeah. better. I feel like my cooking's definitely gotten better because of like being vegan because you like have to cut out so many things that mm. you already totally yeah 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 i mean it takes a while especially when you first become vegan to you know you have to read the back of packets because yeah, like yeah, yeah. there's yeah. meat products in, yeah. in the craziest things that you wouldn't even think of and um and also i think one of the important things is you have to have time because yeah that is you know, definitely at the thing. start yeah. because like i didn't even know what like to eat half the time so i was like eating toast and soup and stuff i was like mm. <laughs> i don't yeah. hope it doesn't like last yeah. like this because it wasn't going well yeah. yeah yeah and accessibility like groceries are really expensive now True. Oh, like definitely. just by pure fact that i'm poor <laughs> i um don't actually eat that much meat um at least when i'm getting takeaways and even then I don't really splurge out that much mm. on like meat valuable things. I wouldn't consider myself as someone who's like 
trying to be vegan. Yeah. But um, I just every almost yeah pretty much almost every cooked meal I have is considered vegan. Mm. But maybe the odd time I use a bit of like cow titty milk <laughs> <laughs> or like a bit of butter, like, ah, salted butter. Oh, okay. Salted butter, man. Oh, oh yeah. Like, it makes uh, everything taste so good, though. I'm just it's so bad for you. I'm an old school Kiwi good. girl, bro. Yeah. Butter on everything. Not, not everything, but like, yum. Yeah. I, I think like one of my favorite meals is like just butter and butter and toast is so good. Do you, it's okay. Okay, I tried to figure this out. I had a genuine conversation with an English with person. Yeah, oh, 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 well, maybe it's another take. No, but it's like a meme where it's like sometimes just like butter on toast is the shit and it you is. eat like the next thing you know you're like standing at the toaster eating like six pieces <laughs> oh yeah. i don't think i know oh, that okay. far but like okay well it, yeah yeah especially with salted butter oh yeah it's yeah just the best. i was gonna yeah. say do you think that's like a woman thing i hear lots of people talk about um like because we're women and whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we start singing our sentences now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but then it's like you, you know, how everyone says, like, listen to your body and you tend to, like, maybe not specifically eat what you're craving because you get things like sugar mm. and cravings and stuff like mm. that. But like, you sort of eat what you sort of, your body, like, wants. I'm trying not to sing. <laughs> I think um, you should sing. Do you think it's like, uh, like, what are your experiences with like your womanly sort of intuitions when it comes to food? Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I love to eat, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, I do think there's something in that, like listening to what your body's telling you about, you know, what you should get. But and especially if you are on a vegan diet, because, um, yeah, you're not getting the, you know, easy protein from meat and things like that. But uh, I don't know anything about nutrition, so I can't, I can't really say. I can't give you any good content. But that's that. like the thing. Like a lot of people, I found this so annoying. Like they're like, oh, you're not getting enough protein, and la, 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 la. but like there's actually so much protein in like um all like the vegan alternatives that yeah. you get, mm. and it's just so frustrating. You're like, oh, you're just not getting, you're not getting enough iron, you're not getting enough of this, and you actually are like. It just depends on yeah. what you're eating. It's not necessarily the diet. It's just what For you've sure. chosen to eat yeah. in that diet. And it, that's just kind of you know, you know what we've been brought up to believe. Yeah. So. Mm. And like the like, you need milk to make you healthy. I'm oh. like, yeah. actually, no. I actually had, less healthy. I literally so, yeah. had that conversation with someone. I was like, yeah, milk <laughs> makes, gives you strong bones. So I'm fine. like, that's yeah, so because my school, my, yeah. my bones are going to break without drinking milk. Yeah. Like, oh my god, mm. wow. You just watched to a note based show clip. If you want to watch the full show or if you want to see us live, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notifications about our live streams. We do it three times per week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7 p.m. And if you are more of a listener, go to altbased.nz to find out on which main podcast platforms we're on. Peace.